Royal Rift, William put duty before feelings, but Harry chose love for Meghan. Prince William and Prince Harry's brotherly feud was the result of the royals learning different lessons from the breakdown of their parents' wedding. Prince William and Prince Harry have been dogged by persistent rumors of a feud ever since the Duke of Sussex tied a knot in May 2018, with the two brothers now living on different continent. Speculation about the state of their relationship has suggested Harry's marriage was the apex of a decade-long conflict. According to royal author Robert Lacey, the breakdown of Prince Charles and Princess Diana's marriage in the 1980s and 1990s played a significant part in the tension between William and Harry. Mr. Lacey told Good Morning Britain the Duke of Cambridge followed in the example of his father Charles in choosing to abide by his duty and ensuring his relationship with Kate the Duchess of Cambridge would last. He said, it goes right back to the beginning. It's chickens coming back to roost from all the trouble of the 80s and the 90s. These young boys are the product of that marital turmoil and they took two opposite lessons from it. William took the lesson of duty. As he went through these difficult times, the prospect that he was going to be king was an inspiration for him, a strength for him. Mr. Lacey continued, to the degree, for example, that when he fell in love, he politely asked his girlfriend to wait nine or ten years before they got married to make sure she was good for the job. That's his priority and they have created a wonderful figurehead for the future. We're not quite sure how we fell about King Charles III or Queen Camilla, but we do look forward to William and Kate. Harry took the opposite conclusion from the turmoil of their parents' loveless arranged marriage that he was going to go for love. We're looking at a clash between these eternal principles of love versus duty. Prince Harry last year signaled he and his older brother were on different paths when confronted with some of the rumors about their relationship. But Prince Charles falling ill with the coronavirus earlier this year has reportedly allowed the Duke of Cambridge and the Duke of Sussex to start mending their relationship. Despite moving to Los Angeles after putting an end to his royal career with Meghan Markle, Prince Harry is still expected to make his way back to the UK once the pandemic allows it to be reunited with his family. During her latest appearance on Tuesday, the Duchess of Sussex appeared to comment on her and Harry's decision to quit their royal careers. Speaking to the Fortune's members' only most powerful women next-gen summit, Meghan said that sometimes making the best decision for you and your family might not be the popular one. Under the agreement reached with the Queen, Prince Charles and Prince William earlier this year, Meghan and Harry agreed to stop carrying out engagements on behalf of the royal family. They are however expected to visit and attend family functions including Trooping the Color, which marks Her Majesty's official birthday. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex also agreed not to use their HRH styles when conducting business.